So what's going on guys? So I want to quickly encourage you guys with this word, something that has motivated me time and time again for many years now, something that has driven me to do and to live life the way I'm doing was this word that the Lord gave me and that has consistently been at the uh, top of my mind and something that I've been re-reminded of this past week. And I believe that if you really grasp this and you, you really take it to the Lord, that it would benefit you, it would allow you to seek the fruits of this season. And God, in, in many times in life, He will allow certain doors, certain things to open, certain concepts, biblical principles to, uh, to happen in a season. And I believe that this word that God gave me is evident in my life. It's been evident and it's been showing in many other people's lives, but not a lot of people have been taking advantage of it. And it is that you will reap what you sow. And what the Lord gave me was that he will uh, bless and he will uh, multiply things that you plant, things that you sow in the kingdom. And if you do that in this season, then you will greatly benefit going into the future and into uh, what God is going to do uh, for this nation, for America, for the world, and, and many different places. And so I want to encourage you guys right now to take advantage of this. And it starts with your relationship with Christ. If you seek him, if you truly desire to know him, I believe that he would open doors for you. And I've been doing that for years and years right now, seeking my face towards him every morning without fail. And I've been doing it recently in the evenings and, ma and many different things that allow you to really seek and understand the spiritual realm, to get you deeper, to get you to know more of who he is. And I believe that he would, he would really answer you and respond to you. And, uh, and also, uh, apart from that, I've been planting, I've been sowing into ministries like this in, in YouTube and many other places, and he's been blessing it tremendously. And you may, some people may not see it in that fashion, but I believe whether it's now or in the near future that things would open up. And I'm not saying everybody should go out and do the same ministry, but whatever God is doing for and calling you to do for missions and for you know, kingdom work, I believe that if you capitalize on that, if you if you take hold of that and you run with it, then he would tremendously bless that. And you cannot, uh, you cannot ignore not only your calling and what God has for you, but this window of opportunity is very important right now. And for those of you also that are sowing into your flesh, sowing into destruction, a lot of people are criticizing, a lot of people are saying, you know, things out of anger, not only to, you know, the community at large, other Christians dividing, things like that, but also to your family, your friends, close people, things that have been kept unchecked and you haven't been able to tackle it in a Christ-like manner. Those things will also come back to haunt you. And this is a warning to many people too, because in the same vein as if you sow and you will get, you know, 10, uh, 20, 100 uh, fold increase of certain things, you will also, if you've been sowing to the flesh, sowing to demonic uh, ways, ungodly, non-kingdom type ways, you will, you will receive things that you will never would ever want in your life. And because you haven't seen that from a biblical perspective, you haven't necessarily uh, kept yourself in check in that way, then you will see those things coming to haunt you in the near future. And so I urge people right now to really seek their face, to ask the Lord about this. What is it that God, want, uh, God you want me to do in my life? Where is it that you want me to, you know, uh, uh, correct certain things and, and, and uh, you know, uh, tackle things so that it could be in a Christ-like manner? And so right now is a big uh, season. If you've been planting, if you've been doing things, and I've been talking to several people who feel like they want to give up, and they feel like you know what they're doing for the kingdom does not matter, or they're not seeing fruits uh, necessarily. I want to encourage you too that you are planting things right now for the near future that you will see blossom, you will see flourish, you will see things that uh, you will look back and say, man, I can't believe I went through that time. It's, it was difficult. It seemed like it was in vain, but you will have a great reward because not only is this biblical, it, this principle biblical, but in this season right now, 
the Lord has been showing me and he's been giving this word to many people that if you do it in this season, then he's going to bless it and he's going to uh, use that for bigger things to come. And so be encouraged right now. If you feel like you're doing things that are showing no fruit, you feel like you're maybe in a place that God doesn't want you to be in or you feel like God doesn't want you to be in, but really God wants you exactly where he wants you but you just need to persevere. And so for many people, whether you are on the, the, the good side and you're really trying to seek the kingdom, if you're on the other side and you're not aware of it, I'm telling you as a warning, as a rebuke, as a, a urgent message to turn from your ways and to seek the face of God. Because if you, whether you're, you know, online bullying and you're, you know, texting from your couch and just thinking that you know what, what's up, if you're saying little snarky things to your parents or to your kids, to your family, your wife, your husband, whatever it is, or, or mistreating your ministry that God has stewarded for you and you haven't been giving your all to that thing, he's going to take that from you and he's going to give it to somebody else. He's going to show you exactly what co goes around comes around to you. And so that's what this season that we are living in is is uh, producing in terms of fruit and the effect. And so I just want to encourage you guys with that. Pray about it. Don't take it from me. Uh, go to scripture, go to the Lord, and God bless you guys, and I'll talk to you guys very soon.